Stories. What's up? Thanks for clicking on this video. Um, and I'm very excited to show you a productive day in my life. So I woke up at 8 a.m. today and you'll see all of that. But just a little disclaimer, I definitely do not wake up at 8 a.m. on a daily basis. In fact, most weekends I wake up at 11 a.m. and go to sleep at 2 a.m. So really healthy. But today I have asynchronous virtual learning because it's snowing outside like also we don't have snow days anymore that should be a crime um protest please so i thought today would be a good day to be productive wake up early and kind of film what i eat what i do in a day to just show you how i stay productive um i've said that like five times but yeah so without further ado let's get into it So I set my alarm for 7am the night before and I basically did this in my bed for around an hour before I actually forced myself to get up. Uh, as you can see, I'm not really a morning person. Please ignore my messy counter, I honestly could not tell you the last time I used half of those serums and sprays. I never blow dry my hair after I shower, so I usually wake up with this huge mass of hair upon my head, which I will then put into a bun and forget about. Or, like today, I will straighten it. Of course, then I ponder my existence and the fact that nothing is real while I stare into my mirror. Okay, so I kind of lied. I don't usually use face wash in the morning. I just wet a washcloth and then rub it on my face for like five seconds. But it works for me, so that's what matters, right? Then I'll proceed to straighten my hair for about another 10 minutes while thinking about the dream I had last night. And yes, it was about oatmeal. What about it? Today it was snowing, so school got canceled, but instead my teachers left me like four hours of homework. But don't worry, you only have to suffer through a little bit of that with me. But first, breakfast. I change into some comfy clothes and I go downstairs. And no, I don't make my bed, but what's the point if you're just gonna go back into it? For breakfast, I'm obviously making oatmeal. This is a chocolate coffee protein oatmeal bowl that I kind of created. So here's the recipe, but it's honestly just a bunch of random ingredients and fruit and granola on top to make it look pretty. Honestly, I never used to like oatmeal, but now it just hits different if you know how to make it. After the oatmeal boils down to a mushy consistency, I'll add half a scoop of protein powder, which I honestly kind of like the taste of, although I haven't had it in anything else but my oatmeal, so I might be biased. Here is also some nice footage of me washing and cutting my fruit up because yum. I have a total strawberry obsession and no, I'm not ashamed of it. Next up, assembly. My favorite part because it looks so aesthetic. I put the cut strawberries and banana on first and then I'll pour in a obscene amount of blueberries. Add my homemade granola, which is so much better than store-bought, and some almond slices, and a drizzle of maple syrup. I used to like not eat breakfast at all, but recently I've been really appreciating this meal. It gets me excited to wake up and fuels me for the day. And I also love making my food look pretty, because it makes me happy, and honestly, that's the most important part. Of course, I will occasionally just have a Biscoff cookie or like half a brownie for breakfast, but who doesn't have those days, right? After breakfast, I regress to my room and get some work done while listening to my favorite lo-fi mix on YouTube. It's like having a study buddy and honestly, it makes doing homework so much better. Plus, if your homework requires reading like mine, it doesn't have lyrics so you can actually concentrate on what you're doing. I'll link the mix in my description, although if you search up lo-fi, you'll definitely find it. Mm -hmm. 
after about two hours of doing work, I finally close my laptop and get excited for lunch with my family, of course, saying hello to my dog first. This is my adorable seven-year-old Portuguese water dog who still acts like he's two years old, but I wouldn't want it any other way. Although he still counter serves like crazy. My parents and I usually eat together for dinner and my sister when she comes home from college, but it's something that I don't think I've ever really appreciated enough. I used to think it was annoying how I had to plan my day around our set dinner time of 6 p.m. because none of my friends had to. But lately, I've really reflected on how, as I grow up, these little special moments and chats with my parents will just happen less and less, and I've tried to enjoy every minute of being at home. Today we made hot pot, which is my mom's all-time favorite food, and I made this little spicy udon and sesame paste concoction, which was actually really good. After lunch, I headed back to my room and prepared myself for three more hours of aggressive note-taking. Also, let's count how many times I reach for my popcorn in the span of 20 seconds. Why do I have no self-control? Honestly, I don't really mind online school that much, even though everyone on my TikTok for you page complains about how hard it is. I do find myself less motivated than when I was actually in school, but online school has allowed me to actually find breakfast recipes I'm excited to make and spend time with my family and myself. It's given me the opportunity to grow and be more in touch with myself. Without it, I wouldn't have found my newfound oatmeal obsession, made my first animation, or began exercising regularly. Yes, this is me attempting to play catch with my dog in the snow, but he actually thinks it's a game of tug of war instead. You know, today I had the willpower to get out of bed early and finish all my homework for the day, but sometimes I just don't. But there's so much more to life if you really live it, and I don't want to spend my last semester of high school sitting in my room watching TikToks, when I could be enjoying my last semester being at home with my dog and my family and exploring my little hometown. After playing with Jack for a while, it was time to exercise. I've been doing Lily Savory's 14 day strong and glow guide and today was day 11, arms and hip. I literally died. My noodle arms are so sore and even as I'm saying this voiceover, I can barely feel them. After my workout, I decided to make a tropical smoothie using a bag of frozen fruit that we got from Costco. I added half a banana, some syrup, a few strawberries because I accidentally bought too many, and a splash of water and almond milk. Then I just blended it all together. Also, don't mind me aggressively stabbing my smoothie, it's a habit. And finally, look at this consistency, literally so beautiful. A perfect smoothie after an intense workout just really really hits the spot. 10 out of 10 recommend. For dinner, I had planned on making sushi, but we were out of rice. I was sad, but then I remembered I had these vegetarian chicken nuggets, so I decided to make them into a sandwich. I was trying to think of what they smelled like, and they were like this lace barbecue chips, so I was really excited. For my sandwich, I put on some mayo, some honey mustard, some very, very delicious avocado, and this one was so perfect. Sometimes I get a really crunchy and like juicy avocado. Is that just me? Has anyone else gotten them? They're like weirdly like watery. <laughs> I don't know. And then I put my baked chicken nuggets and cheese on. I also put on some spring mix and pickles, and I love pickles. I would literally drink pickle juice if you asked me to, but don't quote me on that. This was my first time eating the sandwich, and it was actually so much better than I expected because I didn't really follow any recipe. Here is me trying it out and chewing very, very aggressively and contemplating the texture of these soybean nuggets.
After dinner, I just helped my parents put away some dishes from our dishwasher and then I headed back upstairs to my room to watch some anime and seal this bag that I painted. LOL, check out my Depop where I sell these hand-painted bags because it has now become my side hustle. I'm also currently watching Fruits Basket and it's so cute, like what the heck, I want a relationship like she has. Anyways, I just end off the day singing along to some Keshi and working on another hand-painted bag. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope my day was somewhat relatable for you to watch. Please subscribe for more content, mine and my sister's, because this is a sister channel. And leave your favorite oatmeal recipe for me to try in the comments.